Are you a trucker and you are sick of the erratic behaviors of our four-wheeling friends and smaller cars? Are you someone that follows my channel that drives regular cars and has never driven a truck? Well, this video is a PSA for you. Let's get into it. What's going on life here? And this is your boy Lamont Tyson. And this video is kind of a PSA for people that don't know anything about truck driving or never driven a big truck. And kind of something that I think truckers can take to help people that drive regular cars better help us get freight moved and deliver the goods that we deliver across America, making America grow. Um, in my six weeks of being in CDL school and training at Snyder and getting ready to get on the road, there seems to be a love-hate relationship between truckers and people in regular cars. The truckers call people in regular cars four-wheelers. And they get that negative connotation because people in cars that don't know anything about big rigs do crazy stuff. And I want to take this video as an opportunity for it. Help my trucker friends. Just let people that drive cars know what we go through. And for those that drive regular cars, it is important that you help out folks driving big rigs. Yes, they are the professionals. Yes, they have the CDL that makes them a professional driver. But at the same time, they're not God, they're not perfect. And to make a smooth transition, they really, really need your help. So I'm going to talk about some of the behaviors that people in regular cars do that do not help truck drivers. Number one, trucks have to drive slow, guys. I mean, there's no way around it. If someone is going 100 miles an hour in a truck, that's not safe. And we need to keep our following distance pretty big. And starting and going for a truck takes time. People in regular cars, when you're behind a truck and you jot out either side and try to speed in front of the truck, there's chances you can get in the blind spot and the truck don't see you. Um, I've had people when I'm making a right turn, because a truck takes two lanes to make turns under normal circumstances. As I'm getting ready to make my right turn, the car behind me gets in a lane that's not even really a lane, it's really the curb, and speeds to try to get in front of me as I'm making the right turn. What's the problem with that, y'all? If I would have hit that person the way the industry has trended, I pro they probably would have found some way to try to say it was my fault. You know, at the end of the day, when accidents happen on the road with truckers, typically they find a way to make it the trucker's fault, even when it's not. And what that person done could have hurt somebody. It was stupid. It could have messed up people's freight. It could have put me in jeopardy so I can't get home and see my big-headed wife. It could have put them in jeopardy. could have put my trainer in jeopardy who has a family and grandkids. So, guys, when you're driving your regular cars, be mindful that a truck cannot maneuver start and go the way you can in a car and usually we are under load which makes us move a little slower we have to take our time when we approach an intersection we're looking maybe 500 feet in front of us scanning the intersection trying to figure out how we're going to make the turn trying to get ourselves in the right gear looking in both mirrors we're doing a whole lot of diagnosing 200 300 400 feet before we come to an intersection and the last thing we need is for you to be bebopping around us doing things that are not going to help us make those um, turns and those maneuvers properly. And so it is really, really bad in inner cities. Stop, stop and go traffic. Guys in regular cars, just be patient. You know, help us out. Everybody's just trying to make an honest living. We're trying to do a good job. And yes, we are the professionals, but even professionals need help. And so for all my trucking friends, make sure you go find someone in your family, a friend who you've not talked to in a long time and just tell them how important your job is and how much they can help you as someone in a regular car. Help this trucking industry by when they get around the truck, try to stay within the viewing sights of your mirrors. Don't get, don't tailgate, don't jot in and out of the lane beside the truck and let's just keep it all safe. This is a Life Games public service announcement, trying to make America a better place, trying to make truck driving a better place. Don't forget to like this video, comment and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a Life Game, and we'll catch you on the next video.